Hello everybody and welcome back to Party Central, here in the African Union of Partying. I'm John, and I'm back here playing more Civilization Beyond Earth today. And if you remember from last episode, things are starting to heat up a little bit. It looks like the Americans have decided to declare war on my good friends, the who I'm definitely not spying on and stealing energy from. Actually, I'm going to abort this mission now that I'm thinking of it, because I don't want him stealing energy from that guy, because it might hurt the war effort. Um, but I will establish the network here. Okay, so that's good. In my experience, they tend to have... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to choose a new operation. Actually, I'm not worried about the Slavs anymore. I'm going to reassign you to Central, because I want you to keep an eye on America now. I didn't even consider them a problem, but now they're quickly becoming a problem. Okay. So that's good. We definitely can't let that go unchecked. And, okay, what else can we do here? So we've got this Manticore, who I'd really kind of like to move. And I can't seem to... Oh, there he is. Come on, buddy. We're moving out. There we go. He just... He's, he's seen that there's an even cooler hill being built over here. And he's like, oh... I understand now why you wanted me to move, and he's finally seen sense and coming on his way. Hutama has completed the Stellar Codex. What is that? What is the Stellar Codex? I mean, good for you, Hutama, because I don't think I was trying to build... But, I would like to know what it is still. There we go. I've got these drones over here. And I'm just going to keep on exploring this area, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut north. Because I want to see what kind of army I might be up against with America here. And also, speaking of, let's move these armor units closer in. Because um, I want to protect my interests in this conflict. Definitely. Oh, jeez. Okay. What's this? I believe it's in our mutual interest to allow free passage between our territories. Ugh. Suzanne? No. Um, can you? What do you want for just a bit of energy? What do you want for this? <laughs> oh, nothing. Well, I don't want to open borders treaty with you, America, because I don't know how I feel about you. And the reason possible I can think of why you would want open borders with me, so you're probably just feeling out where I stand politically. And guess what? It's against you at the moment, because as far as I can tell, you're the aggressor here. Let's see, I could build a network, but I should probably get on building some more military, is what I should be doing. A gunner, perhaps? Gunners are going to be very good for defense, but I can't neglect um, the frontline marines and such, because they have, you know, they, ne they need to be there to, to soak up the hits, but I'm, I am going to build some gunners first. That's my first priority. And then, let's see, Plastic Beach is going to build another gunboat, maybe? I don't think I need a second trade vessel. I think that's fine. What else can I build here? I can build, because I do need some more energy. Energy's already becoming a problem again. Um, I'm going to get an auto plant here. And trade vessel. You can start trading. You can't start trading yet, because it is still an outpost. Well, pretty soon, I think, McGann will grow into a city in two turns, it says. Okay. In two turns, McGann will grow into a city. But meanwhile, this gunboat's going to run up down the coast, get a, get a look at the uh, situation between these two areas, and see if it's, you know, a good idea to send a trader out right away. I might need to do some clearing, unfortunately, of aliens, who I'd rather not kill, but they have been making a habit of killing my merchants, so while it's unfortunate, sometimes extreme measures have to be taken for the good of the Union, and that seems to be the case here. Okay, these rovers, you guys move in a little further to the south, and let's get a look, okay, and get a look at what's going on down there. Is that everyone? I think that might be everyone. Let me check. Looks that way. Oh my god, really. Wait, I can shift enter. There we go. 
Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, we're, but we're moving on. So this gunboat. Let's get this guy. Let's keep him moving down the coast here. Oh, there's that sea dragon. I wonder where he went. Or oh, that might just be a completely different sea dragon. Man, that's going to be kind of a dangerous trade route, actually. I'm not... The more I look at it, the less sure I am how I feel about it. But hopefully it'll all be okay. And damn, my energy is taking some major hits here. I don't know what I can do about this. Alien nest down there. My agent did arrive in central. Um, so I'm going to establish a network there really quick. So that'll be good. And did that work? It did. Okay. And who do I have down here? This manticore. Okay. Let's get you moving on down here. Oh. <clears throat> Apparently this bio well is done. So let's see, this Party Central... Yeah, Party Central needs lots of improvements, actually. And I think what I want to get on is improving the Xeomass. Xenomass, Zeo. Uh, it's improving the Xenomass down here. So I'm going to head down here and build a well. Get that in to my, uh, my stockpile here. I'm not sure what that does for me yet. But I'm sure it's going to be very useful. Okay. These guys can head... Oh, I want them heading up here, actually. I want to take a look at this army that I'm sure is around somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there's some. Okay, I'm starting to get the front ends of it. Unit needs orders. Okay, this armor. Let's avoid the miasma. Just meet up, Just run up here. And you're going to take up a path behind this guy. And then interference between the Slavs and the Americans. Okay, guys, it looks like they're... Oh, man. I've only seen one unit so far. It might not be too bad. I'm really hoping it's not too bad. So let's, let's see here. Oh, God. Um, are you still trading with them? Are you stupid? You're trading with me all the way over here, and you're walking through the territory of the person you are at war with. Wow, America. That is just ballsy as fuck. Do you have much of an army to speak of, even? Not really. It doesn't look that way. Okay, well... Oh, jeez, the sea dragon. Ugh. I don't want to do it, man. You're making me do this. Why are you making me do this? Okay. The manticore, though, is fine. With just sticking around here, I guess. Oh, God. Is this gunboat gonna die? To the sea dragon? It seems it may. Okay. Trade convoy. Let's get... I don't want to send that to McGann. I'm going to keep sending it to Krabrost, I think. Because I do need that energy quite desperately. Oh my god. I'm going to dip negative soon, guys. I'm fucking up all over the place, it seems. Okay, I can do something about this, though. I can deal with this. So let's deal with it next turn. A unit needs orders, actually, it seems. Oh, this worker. Right. He finished his move, and now he can build the Xenomass well. But do I want to? For two maintenance? Maybe not yet. Um, I'm going to do it, because I think I can... I'll, I'll, I'll go negative for a minute, but... Holy shit, it's, it's largely... Oh, they made peace already. Wow, after all that, they have already made peace. I guess she saw this and decided, you know... It might be a good idea to not get killed. Oh my god, my poor gunboat. Veterancy gain, though. Um, so that's good. Established network, and he was undetected. Also excellent. Let's choose a new operation for you and siphon some energy, because I desperately need it. Oh no. Is my science now taking a hit because of the energy deficit? It is. I need to do something about this. Where can I get energy quickly? Um... Does anyone even really like me around here? Do you like me, Europe? No, you're not Europe. You're Kavitha. And there's been no major incidents between us. Well, I need some energy, Kavitha. Can you help? What do you want? What do you want for any energy? Holy shit, I will give you... Whatever you want for some energy. Hol Why the fuck do you not want this? Okay, 15, maybe. What do you want for 15? Um... 
Can I offer science? A cooperation agreement is needed for that. Okay. I, I don't have that, though. Damn it. Well, I do have a favor to spend. So, let's discuss. No, let's deal. You owe me a favor. What will you give me for a favor? 25 energy and open borders. That's good enough for me. Okay. Goodbye. Jesus. I think I should not have lent him that money, is what is turning out to be the case. But at least we've done some favors for each other now. Um, so that's nice. I guess. Doesn't seem to have gained me anything, though, diplomatically with him. Um, so maybe having an active favor is a good thing. I didn't even look. Well, I could build a network here, but I really want energy right now. So I don't want to build too many things that cost maintenance and aren't going to produce me that sweet, sweet money. And I don't think there's even all that much I can build that does produce that sweet, sweet money. I've been kind of neglecting that a bit, as I usually... As you might expect, actually. Oh, a xenofuel plant will... Once this xenomass well goes up, I can build a xenofuel plant. And that will get me some decent energy going in Party Central. Okay. But I don't know what else to... Oh, should I still to choose production here, though? Oh, no. Well, production for land units might be nice. But I think I'm going to go for a unit here again. And this time it's going to be... Another trade convoy? Can I do that? I'm gonna try. I think I only get two trade routes, but it's I I could be wrong. I don't know. I hope I'm I hope I'm wrong because I will have just wasted that building that thing. But I can always just relocate it to um. Oh, well, I could heal the gunboat, or I could get him disciplined. Is he going to get killed if I don't instantly recover HP? Maybe. But I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to take the... I'm going to gamble it. Because those level ups are just so good in the long run that it's sometimes worth... It's always... It's always worth not taking the heal, pretty much. And I think that the Sea Dragon won't pursue me too much. I'm hoping that's the case. But if I'm wrong, well... Sorry, Gunboat. But at least I won't be paying maintenance on you anymore. <laughs> Okay, so I've built some gunners here, which is not helping my situation, but whatever. And you guys, you guys just stay put, actually. That's that's an okay spot for now. I'm not going to move you yet. Eventually, but not yet. And do I need to... Okay, I already have him siphoning energy. Excellent. Okay, Manicore, you know what to do. You are the defense line for this outpost here. So I'm counting on you, Manny the Manicore, played by Bill Bailey. Um, <laughs> Manny the Manicore. Alright. Actually, I am going to move this gunner out here, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I'm going to want to have somebody a little further out taking... And, you know, there's not much use having somebody right here so far in when they'll run through and wreck all my improvements all the way to my base if I just leave the person there. Not that I'm concerned that someone's going to be running through and wrecking any of my bases anytime soon, but you should always be ready for that kind of thing. So let's see, quest decision. Garden of Eden. With this new gene garden, we unlock the potential of the human form. How we shall direct that potential, however, is still up for debate. Our people have split into two schools of thought, of course. The first, and largest, believe the garden should be used to perfect our bodies through controlled mutation. The second, and most radical, oh wow, okay, want the garden to explore biotechnical possibilities. That's a tough choice between the larger faction and the more radical faction, because bad things could happen if you make either one angry. Well, I want energy for the immediate future, and I think that I have plenty of things that are dealing with health now. Energy is my deficit, so let's get energy from Gene Gardens. Ah, oh, jeez, but will that... I don't want to set a theme here. Whatever path you take could very well define our future. This is a short-term band-aid. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Plus the energy from Gene Gardens. Yay! Okay, quest complete. Good stuff. Let's see. Okay, we got a gunboat out here. He did survive the turn. Well, let's get you back into the plastic beach where you're safe for now. And I can move these guys back because I don't want them way the fuck over here. This guy can continue his exploration mission. 
Because that's going to be good. And we want to reveal all the area that my poor explorer that I let die in the miasma did not finish. So... And Manny, I'm going to fortify you here. I think this is a good place for you to hang out. It's not titanium, but I think you'll get over it. Unit needs orders. It is... Oh, my other scout rover. Oh, I'm sorry. He's armor now. I keep calling them scout rovers, but they have upgraded since. Okay. And this guy's going to fortify. And my turn should get simpler from this for a little while now, because... I was moving a lot of units around while I was looking into this whole thing, but nothing came of the whole situation, as it turns out. And, oh, look. Europe is getting pissed at America. What a surprise. Um, can only resolve to be four. So I don't really have any interest in starting a war, Elodie. So get out my face. I'm just not that kind of person, man. I don't, I don't know if people keep thinking I am this person, but I am so clearly not. McGann has been founded. Ah, oh, the city is complete. And it is size 3. Awesome. Okay. No, not Plastic Beach. I want... What? No? Yes? I think it is currently. There we go. McGann. You are... Uh, Melancholy Hill. No, I think I spelled that wrong. I spelled it like Melon. Like, you know, a melon that you would eat. And I think that's how you spell melancholy. Wow. I am dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, choose production here. Let's see. Uh, well, health is back in the negative, of course, as I expected would happen. But I'm not as worried about it as I was, because I know I can get it under control pretty quickly. I am more worried about my energy crisis still, which is still a thing. How long until this is done down here? Four turns? Okay, so I have four turns to build in this place. So I might as well build myself a unit, even though it's going to cost me more maintenance. So I'm going to build a gunner, another gunner, a third gunner for Party Central. Because gunners, ranged units in general, are very good defensive units, I found. Um, oh, conductor ranged attack. Oh, I don't want to do that. Melancholy Hill is not that way. Why would I shoot the manatee on Melancholy Hill? That just seems really counterproductive. Um, we should probably get started on building a clinic here, actually, to start dealing with this health. So that's what I'm going to do. This guy, you fortify until you're healed, and then you're going to strike back down the coast and see if you can take out that sea dragon that's currently jamming up the works for any possible trade. Will they eventually not attack my... Um, I don't think there's any point that the aliens will not attack my trade vessels, is there? It doesn't look that way. Explorer units, no. Roads and mag rails do not cost the energy to maintain. That's pretty good, actually. Orbital coverage on and next to any tile of Fraxite. Well, someday I'm going to come back and explore this tree, because it actually does look pretty good. But I'm sure they all have their great benefits. And look at Harmony. Like, I can make friends with aliens and have aliens fight for me. Isn't that what we always dreamed of. I can call in worm strikes. Come on. Alright. Um, well, health is still an issue, so I don't really want to build this petroleum still, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to finish this well. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's not actually going to give me any money. It gives me... What's the point of that? It gives me two energy, but it costs two energy to maintain it. Well, you're on alert. I guess... I guess he's get, he's waking up because those aliens are right there, but they're bros. They know that it's a fellow alien sitting there. They're probably not going to attack him, I think. I'm hoping they don't, honestly. But I'll find out. Okay. Some progress getting these guys back into their positions. And, oh, right, we have a new armor. Do we? No. Did I? I did not build a new armor. I thought about it, but I built a gunner instead, and that was just this turn, so of course it's not done. Wow. Okay, Adept Blue or Melancholy Hill. Probably Adept Blue, again, because that food and that science is pretty nice, and at the moment, a trade route between Party Central and Melancholy Hill is not terribly well defended, so 
I, would, I, need to be, I need to be careful about that kind of thing. Because I don't want to lose any more trade convoys to something stupid like aliens. I guess... Oh, I have another trade convoy, though. But I have no trade slots available, so can I relocate this unit? Yes. To... One trade slot available. Okay. So I'm going to transfer you to Plastic Beach, because I guess you only have one trade route at the moment. And that seems like a good place to stop off for now, guys. Um, when we come back next episode, I'll start trying to think about making this whole route here secure between Party Central and Melancholy Hill. And also, maybe building a road here? But I want to see if I can connect those cities by the sea somehow through trade, because that's the kind of thing I want. And if I can build something like a harbor at Plastic Beach here... And the same thing down here, you know, just like Civ 5 style, connect them by sea. I think that's a possibility. But I'll find out. And until then, I've been John. This has been Civilization Beyond Earth. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope to see you guys next time.